The protests in Ukraine that began in 2013 not only toppled the government, but also yielded countless eyewitness videos. Day after day, protesters and bystanders filmed the rallies in Kiev against Ukraine's president, Viktor Yanukovych. They filmed attempts by security forces to break apart the tent city that was built in Independence Square, and the clashes with mass police that reached a violent tipping point months later. On February 20th, four police and 48 protesters were killed in one of the bloodiest hours of European conflict since the Cold War ended. Now, four years later, these videos are being presented as critical evidence against Ukrainian policemen who stand charged of killing these protesters. Working with incomplete ballistics evidence and amid rumours and denials about what happened, prosecutors hope that a forensic analysis of the videos will prove their case. They enlisted the help of Situ Research, an architectural firm in Brooklyn with expertise in video forensics. Situ analysed hundreds of videos assembled by Ukrainian graduate student Evelyn Nefertari to recreate the shootings in painstaking detail. First, they built a virtual replica of Institutska Street, where most of the protesters were shot. Laser scanners were used to accurately reconstruct the fine detail of buildings, sidewalks and trees. And they modelled barricades and debris seen in the videos of that day. Videos show the Burkut, a Ukrainian paramilitary force, retreating along the street from clashes with protesters. The Burkut are wearing these distinctive yellow armbands. They take up position behind these barricades. We'll focus here on the death of Igor Dmitriev, a 30-year-old lawyer who had joined the protests the day before. He was with this group of protesters, protected by helmets and homemade shields, who followed the Burkut. Moments later, he was fatally shot. His shooting was filmed by three cameras, which helped Situ determine his precise position and that of the cameras. By analysing the sound of the gunshot, Experts approximated the distance of the weapon from the cameras. And using their 3D model, analysts froze the victim's exact position when he was shot. They marked the entry and exit wounds described in the autopsy report to indicate a direction of fire within a few degrees of accuracy. Overlaying this cone of fire with the audio analysis gave the experts an approximate location of the shooter. Next, they examined videos filmed on either side of the barricade at the time of the shooting. One shows the fatal shot and a white puff of smoke rising near the barricade, and this is security footage recorded behind the barricade within a minute of that gunshot. It clearly shows Burkut police aiming and firing at protesters where experts say the fatal shot was fired from. Investigators repeated the analysis for two other victims. Lawyers hope that, by making order out of the chaos and disinformation surrounding that day, this innovative analysis will stand up to cross-examination in court.